Hi everybody, well, welcome to Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos. So I did a video recently where I showed how you can connect your um, Miracast wireless device, um, like the um, Surface Pro 3, wirelessly to your television set. Um, and that's an excellent um, um, function because what you can do, you can have, you know, you can do your presentations on your big screen at the office wirelessly, no more fun you know, fiddling with cables and whatnot. And uh, you know, even great for gaming as well. I mean, I mean, the Surface Pro 3 can play a lot of really cool PC games because it's a powerful system. And I mean, the screen on the Surface Pro 3 is large enough already. But hey, if you have a big screen TV, why not just wirelessly stream uh, your content to that? So I do have a video where I show you how to configure and set it up. But what I did not show, and I've had uh, numerous requests as well, is to show how you connect the dongle. Because there's a special dongle that you use to connect uh, on the back of your television that wirelessly connects via that Mar Miracast technology to your to your tablet. So what I'm gonna do is show you what the dongle looks like and actually show you how you connect it in the back of your television screen. So let's get to work. So here's the dongle. Uh, you can get this uh, from the Microsoft Store and you can get these off of Amazon as well. Uh, I will have a link at the bottom of this page where you can get these. So as you can see the dongle, um, it has the, uh, if you can see clearly, has the Microsoft logo here and this is an HDMI port, um, um, HDMI jack and there's a wire, on the other side of that wire you have a USB uh, connection. So both of these jacks have to connect to the back of your TV. So the back of your TV has a ton of HDMI ports so you pretty much just connect this into one any one of the ports um, and then you connect this uh, into a, the USB port in the back of the TV now the USB port it actually just provides the power to 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 run this device so that it can wirelessly connect to your to your tablet so let's look at the back of my TV so here's the back of the television set so most modern television sets today have these HDMI ports so all you do is connect your dongle the HDMI the HDMI side of your dongle any one of the ports just remember which port you plugged it into because when you go to um, turn on the television you have to just select the input type so you can actually bring up uh, the content that goes through this port so I've plugged this into HDMI 1 so when I turn on my television I would just select the source to HDMI 1 and then the Microsoft uh, logo will come up now this is the other side of that dongle and this is a USB uh, you know very very common USB interface that we all know very well. So the TVs have these uh, USB ports right here and the good thing about USB it actually is a in addition to being a communications port it actually provides power um, and it's a 5 volt 0 uh, a 5 volt 0 0.5 amp power source that powers this dongle. So I just connect this into any one of the USB ports I have two here as you can see so I could connect it into the one at the top. And it's that simple. So I have disconnected the uh, the dongle, uh, the wireless display adapter dongle, uh, into the HDMI port of the television, and then I've powered it by connecting the uh, HDMI, the USB port into, uh, sorry, the USB um, plug into any one of the USB ports in the television because it needs to be powered up, right? And it's that simple. So we're 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 ready to go. So all I do now is turn on the television. And then what I'm going to do is go to source, and I plugged the uh, HDMI, um, the dongle into HDMI one. So actually, it's it's highlighted here that there's something connected to it. So I'm going to go to one, and when I do that, this is what comes up. So you get the Microsoft logo. It says Microsoft Display Adapter 60 ready to connect. So all I do now is just go onto my, my device, so in this case I have the Service Pro 3. Um, I have to always make sure you turn on the Wi-Fi on your tablet. Um, what I find happens is that um, a lot of people forget to turn on the Wi-Fi and then for some reason they, try, they cannot find uh, the device to appear to. So make sure you turn on the Wi-Fi. Um, and in the case of the Service Pro 3, there is an app you can download. Um, but you know, it's pretty simple. You turn on the Wi-Fi. 
and then uh, you just enable the, uh, uh, the look, look for devices. Um, actually, let me just double check here. So yeah, you would actually, you know, in the case of the Service Pro 3, you side swipe from the right, um, select connect, and it's actually gonna just go through a list of every device that it can find out there to connect to. The Microsoft Display Adapter will come up and then you can just press connect. So, I mean, I do have another video, which I can I will give you a link to that video just under this, where you can go to how I actually, you know, configure the tablet in, in detail to connect. But the purpose of this video is just to show you how to physically connect the uh, wireless uh, dongle uh, to your television set, because um, I did have a couple, a couple of requests. And then you can just check out my other video if you need to get full details on how to connect um, your Windows tablet, for example, in this case, the Service Pro 3, uh, with Windows 10 on it to your your television set Okay, so that's it. So hopefully you get through uh, between this video and the other video and it makes it makes it uh, easy for you to connect um, So I always like have links at the bottom of my video for all of the devices and stuff that I have on my video So I will have a link uh, for the Surface Pro 3 uh, and for this nice Samsung 32 inch television that we use as our model TV for today and obviously the uh, wireless display adapter. So you guys have a great day now. All right, take care. Bye-bye.